Can you scrape this? <laughs> and I got a bunch of goodies in here. And this is basically the list of what I'm going to be showing. Ramune Marble Gum. Mm. <laughs> it's a citrusy and delicious Ramune flavored gumballs. These pack a small hint of fizziness, just like a real Japanese Ramune soda. Alright, that is here. It's so cute! <laughs> oh my god, no. Did I really open it? No, please! Okay, wait. <laughs> I can't open boxes and I can't open bags. What am I good for? <laughs> Got it, coach. So, this is what it looks like. I'm gonna just block. I dropped one. Well, it'll be the one I try. Alright. It does taste exactly like those sodas. <laughs> They're so cool. Alright, so the second item on the list is White Chocolate Big Bar Z. A big wafer bar similar in texture to a giant Kit Kat. A once crunchy bar soaked in smooth, decadent white chocolate. Oishi. Mmm, <laughs> smells really good. Mmm. Okay. It's like the inside of a Kit Kat, but like without the hard chocolate. I don't know. And it's really good. I like this. <laughs> Can you hear me crunch? <laughs> Number three, Will Gang Grape. What? Whatever. <laughs> that, that, that's what it said. This pouch is packed with grape fun. Gum that starts off with a pop rocks like front can crackle and ends as tangy grape gum. It, it's literally like pop rocks, it's the same consistency. Let's see. Uh-uh. I'm not crawling. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't crackle like Bob Rock. I was excited. <laughs> it's really grapey. I don't know if I like the consistency though, because it's It's kind of like, um, it's like when you're chewing gum, and then after all the gum flavor is gone, it gets kind of hard. But there's flavor, but the gum's hard. And it's kind of hard to chew. Number four. Red potion, black potion. Oh no. Why is there so much gum? What is this? <laughs> How do you chew gum? Find out where gum first hits your tongue with this mouth painting gum. Red and black cola gum that changes your tongue color. I'm not working. I'm gonna try chewing it on different sides. <laughs> I gotta say, I'm not a fan <laughs> of Coca Cola flavored gum. Oh man. <laughs> you can kind of see the black color there. And that one's definitely red. <laughs> <laughs> Soy sauce mochi. Okay. <laughs> what? Um, a savory soy mochi wrapped in edible rice paper.
<laughs> this is so weird looking. It's really squishy too. So sticky. <laughs> you want in? No, not to your liking. It's interesting. It's sweet, but at the same time, this like um, it's good. I like it. It's like sweet and tangy. Are you eating? No. <laughs> Stop. Hmm. Next is Choco Kanako Mochi Do It Yourself. Ooh. <laughs> Build mini chocolate mochi with this unique do it yourself kit. Add water to the white discs to activate the mochi. Dip and enjoy. This is the cutest little fork you've ever seen. This is the perfect size fork. Look, look at it. Look at it. Oh no, I'm getting it all over my hand. But <laughs> Are you? Nope. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I like that a lot. So the next item is Kirby Blend. Blend mixed gum. So more gum. Create your own gum flavors using the five included base flavors. Watch out for gray. Paint colors that block sweet flavors from your tongue. And if you mix certain colors together, you get a different flavor. This is the blue one. Ooh, it tastes like soda. Apparently, if you dab that one with the cherry, you get champagne. Mmm, it's an apple. Sparkling cider. That's good. I'm gonna try a purple one. But you're supposed to chew between each one to get rid of your sweet taste buds. I, I'm not quite sure. Mm -hmm. mm. Uh uh. Okay, that was bad. <laughs> that that literally does get rid of the sweet in your mouth though, but uh, it's weird. It like adds a different taste to it. Okay, if you add the sparkling the sparkling water with an orange one, we'll see. <laughs> it just tastes like sparkling orange. Now if you mix Orange and an apple. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> There's a picture or something, but I have no clue what I'm supposed to be tasting. It just tastes like an orange and apple combined. Okay, but if you take an orange and apple, which I already have in my mouth, and you add a sparkling one, it's supposed to taste like cola. That is freaky. It tastes like Coca-Cola. <laughs> now if you take a white one, which is supposed to be yogurt, and a blue one, it tastes like some form of tea. White for yogurt, orange for orange, and red for apple. It does remind me of something. Like I can't quite put my finger on it. I wish I could be Japanese. <laughs> it's supposed to be some form of drink that it reminds me of. Hmm. Well, it's definitely interesting to say the least. So moving on to the next item, the matcha green tea Pejoy. Pechoy is like an inside out pokey, crispy crunchy biscuit sticks stuffed with green tea filling.
is so good. Mm, nom, nom, nom. So the next item is Talking Puppy Chocolate. The cutest crispy rice chocolate bar around with a cute puppy on the package and a heat activated puppy pun joke card inside. 10 out of 10, I won't be able to read the joke though. <laughs> Is like everything else in the Japanese. <laughs> I get a pug. Look at the pug. There's one in the back too. I couldn't tell you if I wanted to because as I said it's in Japanese. <laughs> Rip. Just like a crisp bar. All right, we're coming down to our last five items. Now we have the Kawaii Ramune. This Kawaii Ramune drink is a new shape for what? It was a new shape for a marble Ramune. Pop the marble from the cap using the tool provided and enjoy. It's just like any other drink. It has a little marble on top. And you gotta pop it down with this. I like getting the big ones, it tastes like strawberry. Guess what's next? More bubble gum! <laughs> Magic bubble jelly do it yourself. Mix the powders with water to change the color and the texture of this candy. Grape flavored magic jelly that changes in front of you. to turn it out oh, that clump though. Okay, so <laughs> it is now pink and it has a little slightly thicker consistency. It smells like rose oil. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna try it. Mm -mm. Happy Paws Gummy. These juicy peach paw gummies are so soft you just might think you're holding hands with a cuddly kitten. That means I'm trying to eat a cuddly kitten though. Your little paws. Ooh. Mmm. They smell like peach rings. And they definitely don't taste like peach rings. <laughs> they have like a weird powder on the outside. It's kind of, it has the consistency of the the soy rice wrap and then mochi. It kind of sticks to your teeth almost. But it's not part of the actual gummy. It's not bad. As long as you don't do what I did, is you take a small bite and eat it on the lips. <laughs> Choco Banana Pokey! Pokey. Ah! <laughs> the newest release from Pokey. These are a tasty and genius spin on the classic chocolate covered banana. Crispy chocolate sticks covered in yummy banana. Ooh yeah. <laughs> it has a taste of banana before tasting it with the biscuit part. And then there was one. <laughs> Ooh, as I was saying, matcha green tea. Matcha green tea Kit Kats. <laughs> a mellow and creamy green tea flavor. These green tea Kit Kats are made using real Uji Kayokuru tea leaves from Japan. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. I was expecting it to be like a white chocolate taste, 
But it, it's legit matcha green tea. Full on. I don't know why I'm eating it like that. <laughs> All of these goodies, I would still have to say that the white chocolate big bars he was my favorite. Which was this over here. This. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. That does it for me. That's that was good. <laughs> Uh, besides that, I liked all the Pokey and the Kit Kat. I'm not really a big gum fan, but it was good. 